this golf ball goes crazy far and feels crazy good. So today we are going to test it here at Waterfront Golf Club, both out on the golf course and guys, I have been in the studio to see just how good this ball is. I got this off Amazon, Chris. More importantly, it's a ball of the people. It is a ball of the people. Amazon, I got 20, four pound a dozen, four piece construction urethane. Could it be the end of the expensive ball? What number have you got, Chris? Number one for me, number one. I've got a number three. These are cut golf and they are cut blue. Cut blue. And they do gray and white. Coming back. well for the first swing of the day. It's got a long way, I'll give you that. It has. Not necessarily the right direction. So the big thing that I look at testing golf balls is not only how good does this ball perform, but how good does it look and how good does it feel. So if it doesn't feel that good, I'm probably not going to use it in a competition or playing with my mates. I think it looks good. It's got a lovely white urethane cover on there. So that's a premium rubber or premium plastic, should I say. It should perform and feel soft. Right. Anywhere left of that, Chris? Would anyone let James on his golf course with those high socks? <laughs> no. Used to have to wear these, remember? Well, you used to. Not anymore. Oh, when you hit drives like that, Chris, you can wear whatever socks you want. That is a cracking shot. Sounded a bit tinny. Yeah, it was a little bit tinny, probably harder than I would have hoped. Yeah, It'd be really interesting to see same. how these balls perform against a Titleist Pro V1, which is what we're going to do later in this video. Stay tuned. So, two incredibly struck drives there, and I find this video very interesting, guys. How many of you anymore. buy golf equipment from Amazon? I've been doing it recently and having quite a lot of success. Mm. Hopefully, this will be a successful video as well. Not a bad price. Not a bad price at all. Four-piece ball with a European, European, a European, <laughs> European cover, or a urethane cover even. Uh, stay tuned. We're going to cut it open as well and see what it looks like inside and how that might affect the ball's performance. I'm going to put this out there, Chris. Yes, you are on the wrong fairway, but that's gone miles, hasn't it? It has gone a long way. It's not a bad angle, in actually. Would you say you passed me? I'm about there, aren't I? All the way back over there, I think. Oh, it's delightful. That is really nice. Just the irons that keep on giving. That sounded incredible. Yeah, it felt pretty good. It felt a little bit tinny off the driver, but off the Tacoma uh, MBs. Certainly felt nice and soft, so a lot better than what I felt off the tee. Right, I'm on the correct fairway. I've hit that really good as well. It actually felt a little bit tinny, but it felt okay. How far have I got here? 100 yards? 100 yards, or just over. I'd say 110 into this breeze. Again, great ball flight off the tee. Didn't pop up at No, all. it didn't. It was a nice piercing flight. A little bit of a slip in the old yeah. backswing, but launching again... Can keep it nice and low. It's yeah, just taking on the that, green. That's the beauty about that urethane cover. Whenever you are buying a golf ball, check what material the cover's made out of. Is it ionomer, is it elastoma, or is it urethane? Because the urethane is the more premium plastic or rubber, and it's going to feel softer and launch a little bit lower. Um, right, two balls on the green. Chances for some birdies. I mean, interestingly, mine's got quite a lot of spin there. It's pitched there. And then it was a little bit cut. It's kind of taken this ridge and finished where it was. So not bad at all. Are you having a putt, Chris? Yeah, mine was quite, came in quite low and it skipped forward probably three yards and stopped. So again, plenty of spin on it from a good contact, from a fair way, even if it's the wrong one. Okay, straight away off the putter. Does feel nice and soft. Does feel good off the putter. So very strange. It's the first ball we probably tested that sounded and felt very tinny. We both hit it well off the tee. Give or take my direction. Struck it well, but it sounded very hard, whereas off the putter feels nice and Can soft. Can we get a light for Chris's new Peter Miller top as well? Look at that. Oh yeah, they're almost that is, look, Guys, tag Chris on Instagram and Twitter with uh, at Peter Miller, because that's lovely, isn't it? Go on. I'll let you finish that off. Four. I said on the tee, a great alignment aid, which I will show you now as James lines it. Really up. nice and simple, isn't it? So nice and simple, can get that lined up nice and easy. Well, I must say, the first, it's obviously a soft cover, because that's the first shot I've hit. A bit of a red. That's, that's not even a proper wedge, that was a pitching wedge. Yeah, certainly uh, scuffed up there.
it did feel really nice actually it did feel nice and soft doesn't it a little soft off the putter Four. I would have given him that, but we'll make oh. him see it in. Par five, par three, and then we are going to look at the numbers and see just how good this does. That's cut up really badly, actually, but just how this does compare to a Titleist Pro V1, the number one ball in golf, they say. So they say on the box it goes really long. That's yeah. going to help us on the par five, surely. Fingers crossed. Another good drive, but a bit better direction for me on this hole, and uh, the dream will be alive. Yeah, it's coming back near that bunker. Okay. Sounded good again. Up the right. It does certainly sound, it makes a little bit more of a noise than I would expect, because this normally is a dull sounding drive. And it certainly, teeth, uh, you? you certainly can. It does certainly sound a little bit louder. Again, not a bad strike, a little bit off the toe. But like, for me, it's not... It's not overly bad. It's definitely not as soft as a Pro V1. It's because no. it says on the box that the feel really, really good as well. Can get used to the feel of a ball though. Certainly can. That's a great drive. It'll cling on to the left How side. How good am I hitting drive today? Left side of the fairway, a good angle in. Yeah, I mean, I really enjoyed. Guys, I'm going to replay that ball flight again. That's a great drive. I love how low and piercing that is just turning over. That shouldn't leave too far in. For the par five. Let's open the cut ball. I've been really looking forward to saying and doing that actually. Let's see what this four piece ball looks like inside. A really, really big core, thinner middle layer, and then a blue outer layer. So that's why they're called cut blue, Chris, inside. Oh, how good is that? That's exceptionally good. Kick Sorry. right. Oh. That's gone really high. Drawing a little bit. Stay there. It's bang next to yours, Chris. Social golf. We'll have a chip. We haven't really tried the ball out around the green, so interesting off the wedges. Be interesting to see how that cover reacts. Yes, very true. Dates. So I've gone just short left. Chris, long left. That's gone miles, Chris. It has gone a long way with the new weapons. Ooh. Nearly. It wasn't the best of strikes. Go in. Oh. Certainly not stopped as quickly there as maybe a more premium ball. No, certainly uh, ran on. Didn't feel as soft there, but the strike wasn't great, so I can't really say we've done the ball justice. No. Oh. So a great roll. Just Should we do that one? Has a lot of movement on it. A good I, roll. Yeah, I, th I thought it was just going to stay straight, but that is two par fives, and we are both level going into the final hole, the par three. Guys, let's have a look and see how this ball does perform in the studio compared to a Pro V1. And that cut's getting worse. Um, yeah, let's see how it performs. What you have all come to see, how does the cut blue golf ball perform against the number one ball in golf, a Titleist Pro V1, especially with a driver. So guys, I went in the simulator room at Woolley Park Golf Club and I hit loads and loads and loads of golf shots. You can see all the lines on screen already. There are the ball flights that I've hit. Some of them went absolutely miles. Check out this one and the next one. I have absolutely split the fairway with that and it's nearly 300 yards. I stood there and hit driver after driver after driver to get a proper average for you. And the numbers were quite interesting actually. So it wasn't quite as good as the Pro V1 as you can see straight to the distance, five yards difference and carry kind of two yards difference, maybe one and a half difference in ball speed miles per hour, and it spun a little bit more at 2,100. Not a bad ball at all for the price, but not quite up there with the Pro V1. Right, Chris, not bad numbers, not quite the numbers of a Pro V1. So when it says it goes really, really far, hmm, not quite as far as a Pro V1 that I found. Anyway, it's hit loads of balls there, so quite a fair test. What have you got here, 8-iron? 8-iron, yeah, front pin here. So probably need it to go a little bit higher here, so a little bit downwind, so I'm going to try and send it a little bit higher than the previous shots. Oh, he's done so. That is towering. Just leaking a touch. Leaking right, but... Wind off left. We'll let the wind bring it back. Just 
pod stay there. It's well struck. Well, that's a good thing to see. Again, it's not deviated much in the wind there. A well no. struck shot. Flag high again, so just not moved on the wind. Can't really complain too much there. Well, it didn't go the distance for you. No, but again, jumped out of its pitch mark, which I'm more happy about. So let's get this out there now. Nice and shallow. That is so good. I called it, you know, you were going to thin that. Oh, well, I like your positivity. Great shot. Yeah. Friends like you, we don't need enemies, do we? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, it just didn't come back. Ooh, I'll, g I'll give you that one. Are we going good, good? Good. Guys, that is an honourable half using the cut blue golf ball from Amazon. Guys, stay tuned to part two over on Chris Dennis Golf. We're going to test these balls for short game. 